Adam and Eve In the beginning darkness was everywhere the earth was formless and it was covered with water the spirit of god was moving over the water then god spoke let there be light he made light and called it day god then made darkness to separate it from light and he called it night evening passed and morning came this happened on the first day of creation god then made a dome and called it sky it separated the water under it from the water above it evening passed and morning came this was the second day by the sweet will of god all the water below the sky came together and land appeared he called the land earth and the water sea let the earth produce all kinds of plants bearing grain and fruit god commanded and it was done this was the third day then god made the sun to shine during the day and the moon to shine at night he also made the stars he then placed them all in the sky all this happened on the fourth day on the fifth day of creation god filled up the seas and the rivers with living creatures of all kinds from the great whales to the smallest fish from corals sponges octopuses to jellyfish god made them all then he filled up the air with birds of all kinds on the 6th day of creation god commanded let the earth produce all kinds of living creatures the wild animals the cattle and everything that crawl upon the ground and it was done life blossomed everywhere god then took some soil from the ground and formed a man in his own image he breathed life into him and the man began to live god called him adam god planted a garden full of delicious fruits for adam and called it the garden of eden in the middle of the garden god placed the tree of life the tree of knowledge of good and evil god then put adam into a deep sleep and removed one of his ribs god formed a woman from adam's rib and called her eve adam was full of joy he exclaimed at last here is one of my own kind bone from my bone and flesh from my flesh woman is her name because she was taken out of man god bless them and that is how the universe was created both adam and eve lived happily in the garden of eden they were naked but were not ashamed god said to adam and eve you may eat the fruit of any tree in the garden except of the tree that gives knowledge of good and evil the day you eat its fruit you will die one day a snake came up to eve and asked did god tell you not to eat the fruit from any tree in the garden we may eat the fruit of any tree in the garden except of the tree in the middle of it if we eat it we will die eve replied 
The snake said, "You will not die. The day you eat the fruit of that tree, you will become as wise as God." Eve thought it would be good to be wise. So, she picked a fruit of the tree, tasted it, and handed it to Adam to eat. As soon as they ate the fruit, Adam and Eve realized that they were naked. They rushed to pick fig leaves and made something out of them to cover themselves. When God visited the garden that evening, Adam and Eve hid behind the trees. God knew what they had done. He asked, "Did you eat the fruit that I told you not to eat?" Adam said, "Eve gave me the fruit." Eve said, "The snake tricked me into eating it." God turned to the snake in anger and said you will crawl on your belly and eat dust as long as you live then he condemned eve to feel pain while having children and adam to earn his living from tilling the soil you will have to work hard to make the soil produce anything until you go back to the soil from which you were formed god declared lastly god condemned adam and eve to be mortal he covered their nakedness with animal skins and drove them out from the garden of eden then he placed an angel with a flaming sword at the gates of eden to keep Adam and Eve from returning. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, subscribe to Sahil Book House.